Windows 12. I am very frustrated. Windows is not a Call of Duty title. We don't need a yearly release. Windows XP, Microsoft's probably best operating system they ever made, came out in 2001 and lasted until 2007. Now, six years doesn't sound great, but considering that Vista didn't really get used by anybody, it actually lasted until 2009. So when Windows 10 finally came out after a, a slew of blunders of uh, OS things, like you're talking the Vista and Windows 8 and 8.1 not being particularly great, they said, you know what? Windows 10 will be the last version of Windows. I hate it. And the fact that it costs so much money, and they're treating it like Call of Duty or any of those other annual or near annual releases. It's, it's so frustrating. And for the longest time, ever since the end of Windows XP, I've always said, I should really move to Linux. And every consecutive release of Windows, and every time I build a new PC, basically, I always go, I should move over to Linux. And it was first starting off with the fact that Linux was never really good with games. And then, the big update happened with SteamOS, where they made almost all games compatible. But I'm not a normal gamer. I'm a modder. Can I run Linux and mod? And if so, should I give Windows the final frickin' boot and just never go back? I actually don't know. So, my goal for today is to get BeamNG working on a version of Linux and then do a mod. It's only gonna be a simple mod, it's gonna be an engine swap, but I want to see how it will work. So my operating system of choice is gonna be Ubuntu, not for any particular reason other than the fact that I kinda of like it and I already know it at least a little bit compared to the rest. Like before Ubuntu, the last one I used was Red Hat in like the mid noughties. And if you're wondering, I'm following this guy's tutorial. You can see the address there, you can copy it if you want. So. Restarting the computer. I have a bunch of drives in here. So a while ago, I tried to run RAID. One of them failed, so that ended up just basically exploding. So I have like six different drives, the boot USB, and then I have the USB that I want to use, and I don't know which one is which. And this is something that I hate about non-Windows uh, operating systems, is the fact that they are so goddamn unclear at what it is that I'm trying to use. So the instruction says, if you can't find it, there should be an option up here, but I don't see anything up there. The hell? Ah, I got it to work. All I had to do was cancel out of the installation, go try, do the things that he said, then go back into the installation, wait 15 minutes for everything ding to go. Yep, we'll let you get to the next step at some point. And with just a little bit of code, I've now got my screens mirrored. I can actually record an episode. Editor, you're gonna have to squish this video down because this is ultra wide and I can't make it not ultra wide. I don't know how. It's a tall steam. Uh, is this a joke? Let me quickly zoom in. Just let me show you the, just the stupidity of this. Available on Windows. Mac and Chromebook. <gasps> They're trying to push Linux so goddamn hard, they don't update Steam OS anymore. They made a specific version for the Steam Deck. Let me be clear, you cannot download that version. And they don't give you the option to install it on Linux. Now I did have a look at the App Store here, and if you go into search and then type in ah, Steam. We get a Steam installer, but w wait, hold on. There's a Steam a launcher for Steam software, installer for Valve's game. <laughs> Which one is the real one? And why do they have poor ratings? Potentially unsafe. Thanks. I mean, it's working so far and the screen is tiny. Available for, I can't even install, no. Come on. Wonder if I can launch it manually. No. Well, poop. Wait. Play Beam and G Drive Linux? Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, can I? No. God damn it.
But oh, on the forums, it looks like somebody in the BMNG team has been working on this. Oh, okay. How do I, how do I do? It's saying I have to, there's been a bin Linux folder here all along and I'd never noticed that. I'm blind as a bat. Oh, oh yes, please. Is it launching? Oh my God, it's launching. This is so good. I'm getting all giddy. Uh, online features, yes. Telemetry, yes. Now I normally wouldn't because I like privacy to have telemetry on, but I'm having it on so then they can see, oh, he's booted in Linux. Maybe we might be a little bit more likely to support it. Can I go to repository now? Uh, go to my mods manager and open mod folder. No, I can't. Unsupported version of Ubuntu. Click here for details and to acknowledge. Ubuntu version that orbits recommended Ubuntu. Okay, so it's slightly newer version of Ubuntu by 0.00.3. Let's just acknowledge that. Uh, everything else looks good to me. I think I might have to mount another drive though. God, which one did I put? the stuff on uh one of these will have mods god just getting it open is the hardest thing let's just get a mod apparently this is the best mod of the year so let's hit subscribe and see what happens okay it looks like we can't have a second vehicle spawn in the collision mesh is in the normal place huh that's very strange so it looks like we can only have one car though hold on let's remove current and let's try spawning said car in. Yeah, no, that works. Shoot. So if I'm gonna try to put the engine swap in, we get only one car at a time. Thank you. Seems that that's the problem here. So if I'm to put in the new engine, well, let's remove the hood and have a look at our engine swap options. A 1.6 and a 1.9, pathetic. We wanna go a big engine swap for our big Linux, Linux? Linux engine swap test. So where is my mod directory? Let's go into our mods. Let's select this. I've unpacked it now. Let's open an explorer. No such luck, God. Damn it, all right, fine. Okay, it looks like there's a, like, so the folder apparently does exist, it was hidden. They didn't say how to unhide it, but apparently control H will unhide things. So, control H. There's a bunch of things here. Oh my God. Okay, a uh, new folder. This is going to be Mirama engine swap Linux test. So the engine I wanted to put in was the Brockle Basher, but I'm just thinking for simplicity's sake, I think I'm actually gonna go with an ETK. They have a V8 as well. The advantage of their V8, however, is the fact that they're all in the common directory and they're not some like lumpen old engine like a Gavril engine. So I think that's what we're gonna go with. Engine ice, damn. Oh wait, no, here we go, okay. Don't, don't want the ECU. All right, I've worked with this one before. Wait, go, oh. Okay, work second time around. Perfect. Let's change the name of this. Oh, frick, I have to right click to rename every single time. Then, unfortunately I can't get Notepad++ to work here. I tried doing that. So we're gonna have to edit this all manually and make sure there's no mistakes. So let's, copy, oh, sorry, no, highlight everything we don't need, which should go all the way down to except the last two lines, which is right there. No, hold one more, there we go. Then we don't need any of this. I'm gonna grab ETK engine, put that there. Grab the, okay, no, let's grab you and put you there. Now, I know that somebody else has probably already made this engine swap, but that doesn't matter. We're just doing a little bit of a test to see whether this all works. 86 in Linux. So if something goes wrong, people know that it's a Linux problem and not mine. Then this, oh, what's that gonna be? Uh, that's why I left, hold on, the Miramar open. So we can go to, uh, type, uh, go down to the engines and find what their engine slot is called. Miramar engine, perfect. Okay, that goes there. This will just be ETK engines. 
Perfect, save that. Now, back to here. This isn't gonna work right away, is it? Let's go body, engine. Yeah, no such luck. So we usually have to control L. Wait, is that it? Wow, usually control L takes really long, but that just loaded s super quickly. Perfect, okay. It's there already. Oh my God. Modding work. Oh my God, it's right there. Modding works in BeamNG Drive. <laughs> I mean, this is not like the best engine swap you could do. It's not really super realistic, but we've proven it. Modding works in Linux. Screw it. Do I give up on Windows and now just become a, a Linux content creator because it's <laughs> fuck Windows? I think... I've proven that it's possible. All I would have to do is like find a good text editor because I hate this. I like how usually everything is like perfectly colored so that it shows all the lovely things and it's easy to look at. And I've now put on the default race exhaust and I'm noticing that um, it's not a dual exhaust. So I've made myself a new thing and I was getting up to the point where I was going to make the flex body and then I realized that, does Blender work in Ubuntu? Well, it looks like it's worked. I've got it downloaded. There's a lot of good reviews on this, so let's give it a try. Blender is working, guys. It's working! AX F4 import DAE, perfect. Property, perfect, okay. It's shit. I hate- Oh, there we go. Copy you. And then, will that work? Yes, it will. Oh my god, thank you. So that's the race exhaust, control on, delete. Perfect. Uh, add modifier, mirror. Oh, it's just like using Windows F4 export. Oh, the directory is saved as well. A dual exhaust. Wait, you know what? I probably should have renamed this. Go back to here. Make sure that is the right name. Delete that, which I took over. And then what are the chances that this works right away? It's probably not going to be perfect, but exhaust. Wait, hold on. Racing. Damn it. Why is it not there? I mean, it's all here. It's all saved, it should be working. Like, okay, let's try Control W again. God, that's so fast on Linux. Engine, exhaust, race, damn it! Why is it not showing up? And with the Control R, could not create a description for the, okay, good. Let's go in, try taking off the hood again, remembering to bring out the race version. God, that loaded quickly, my God. Then engine, <gasps> it's, Working! Oh, okay, I mean, aside from the fact that at the moment there's only flex bodies, uh, sorry, uh, uh, things on one side. Then go to the nodes and duplicate everything, including group. And this will be two. Then everything here is going to be right side. Then we're going to duplicate this. Uh, okay, well, first of all, let's get rid of lines that aren't being used already. So we don't need that one, don't need that one. Then grab these, control C, and we're just gonna start pasting these things in. But changing all of these to R. Wait, hold on. Can I control F? There, no, there's no find and replace function. Damn it! And Dunskies. Are we gonna get the desired result? There's only one way to find out. Do we. I see, no, no, hold on, control R again. Is it just, I don't think it updates. Go no control N for bringing up nodes. And yep, and um, you have to relaunch the entire game again. Ah, uh, why well, I'm an idiot. I remade all of these nodes and duplicated them, but I didn't change the side they were on. You know what? That was probably my fault. I am so dumb. Okay, with all those changed to the other side now on the X value, control R, and would you look at that? There? Okay, well, I'm an idiot. Well, usually at this point, I'll take this as a lap around uh, Laguna Seca, but for obvious reasons, I can't do that. The only thing I can think of 
is I want to see if we can reach 200 miles per hour. So, I mean, it's, it's stupid, but may as well do it. We got kilometers an hour, which means we have to reach 320 kilometers an hour. My God, this thing is going through the speed so far. This is Beam and G's aerodynamics are incredibly rudimentary. Oh, the engine is overheating because it's running a poxy little 1970s radiator or 60s. Uh, yeah, 1960s radiator. How long until it pops? 290 kilometers now. That is insane. Piston rings damaged any faster. No, I think that. Wait, hold on. I happen to know that this engine has a speed limiter. But we can delete it. Radiator struggling. You know what? Actually, there's probably a race radiator, isn't there? There. 290 and it just keeps on going. Wow, is this thing going to reach 300? Oh my god. What the hell? Oh, no. I think, I think we're losing power. I think the engine's about to pop. But we got race internal, so that'll take a really long time. Let's... Tuning. Wait, does this have... Differential. Okay, we're at 4.3. Let's bring it down to, like... 375 and that should be a much longer diff ratio now. Oh my god. Two ha hundred miles per hour. That's stupid. That shouldn't be a thing. This brick should not be going 200 miles an hour. That seems unprobabilistic. We're nearly going 230 kilometers an hour. Sorry. 330 kilometers an hour. Come on, one more. One more. There we go. That's insane. That doesn't even make sense. That is nonsensical. For now, though, guys, I would like to thank my channel members. You guys are awesome. Okay, well, maybe I needed a tighter steering angle there. Frick. And specifically, who I'd like to thank is my top tier channel member who is absolutely awesome and that would be the rogue tick the crayon priest who has been a top tier channel member now for a really really long time for everyone else though i will catch you all next time maybe in linux one day but for now catch you all later goodbye